All right. Welcome to the Boxing Rundown. I'm your host, Boxing Ruckus, along with my co-host. I'm the X-Man. And today, I'm, I have the red carpet. I have the one and only red man over here. We got Ray Kakoi. Ray is in the house. He's going to help us out at the beginning. We're going to be bringing out a special guest in a little bit later. But uh, Ray's going to help us out with what happened on the weekend and also how to like kind of like detail some of the stuff that happened on Friday. And I don't mean Devin Haney winning that bell. I mean what happened here at Carson. Perfect guest to talk about that. Yes, right? perfect guest. Actual, perfect. Somebody with actual experience in the field. Yeah, promoter. We're talking to a promoter that's going to let us know the real uh, the real deal. You know what I mean? Uh, Stiller Nation. Oh, man, cut it out, bro. I'm thinking you guys are talking real. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So... Do you guys want to talk about it already, or you want to talk about the fight, and then we we'll talk about it? No, whatever, no, no. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Let's talk about it. Pop it up. Okay, Ray. I wanted to talk about when you have a fighter, right? Mm-hmm. And the fighter ends up losing his opponent day of the win. Do you, as a promoter, have a plan B, plan C, or or whose responsibility is it when you something like this happens? That's really hard to... Um to manage, especially when there's only, because we had an experience on that last uh, August 24th. Uh-huh. So hours before the the weigh-in, we lost the, uh, the opponent of uh, Alex, Alexi Worker. Uh-huh. So we tried to look for an opponent during uh-huh. that day. And in fact, special thanks to Mr. Uh, Sean Wells, uh-huh. uh, the commission. He, he, he stayed with us for until 5, 5 p.m. to have the, the bout happen. Uh-huh. But unfortunately, the guy did not came. So what you're telling me is not only like it's difficult just to for you guys, the company, the matchmaker, and everybody to get involved, but also the commission still has to stay there till you guys get an opponent. Yes. And so there's a lot of parties involved. Yeah, see? it is very unfortunate when things like that happens because a lot of people are involved. And and the reason we're bringing this up is because the incident that happened with Golden Boy, Ryan Garcia, and, Garcia. and Avery Sparrow, or Avery Sparrow was arrested was arrested so well something like that man is really out of anybody's hands <laughs> correct yeah like i mean it sucks for the fans and i'm gonna be honest for the oh, fans yeah. that um appear, apparently bought tickets who go see ryan garcia now i was at the fights i was at carson and i'm gonna say this from the bottom of my heart i mean i hope people don't get upset but uh, you know what if they do get upset they're they're gonna send me a message tomorrow i already know who's gonna send me the message tomorrow so here we go ryan i'm sorry to tell you this but your fans still showed up i guess because that carson dignity center was packed to the yeah. full so when people are telling me or i'm hearing that there's an interview out there saying that my fans are asking for a refund that my fans are not going to show up to that event I don't know what to say, bro. They showed up. I don't know who showed up, but I don't know if they were Ryan fans or they were Mungia fans. But I saw boxing fans that filled up those seats at the Dignity Center. And that place looked packed. Because of the date. It's Mexican Independence Weekend. That's a traditional boxing date. So how do we really, I mean, how does, how do we know for a fact that that was Ryan Garcia that was bringing all the fans, right? Correct. We don't know. But as far as that that goes with Ryan and everything, what do you feel with the whole situation here we go man i think and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know who was right who was wrong i'm not gonna judge golden boy i'm not gonna judge ryan garcia in his camp and when i'm telling you guys this is i know a promoter okay a promoter do you go directly to the fighter and say you know what i lost your opponent let's say to your guest our guest right now that's gonna come up let's say do you go to him if you lose his his opponent or do you go to his management group or his what do you call it, bro? Like his entourage, his, his handlers, right? Yeah. You tell his handler. You don't tell the fighter because the fighter's always gonna say, "Yes, I want to fight." But who do you talk to as a promoter? First, we talk to the we, we talk to the management to to give them an explanation on what what had happened, what had transpired. In that case, I mean, there's really nothing you can do when someone is arrested, right? And being looked looked up by uh, the U.S. Marshal. The U.S. Marshal picked them up, man. man. That's, that's intense, all, bro. That's, that's I thought movie. it was a movie, bro. Yeah, the for fugitive. real. I thought it was a movie. It was a fugitive. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was a fugitive and shit. But, but uh, what I'm saying is this. It's like he says, he talks, talks to the handlers, bro. So what I'm saying is this. When I see an interview where Ryan is saying, I didn't know anything about it. Well, you didn't know anything about it because they weren't going to talk to you. They were going to talk to your handlers. Yes. Your handlers make the decisions. No. Now, now, now the whole thing is where everything went out got blown out of proportions because a tweet was sent out by Eric Gomez, the, 
the CEO of Golden Boy, right, saying that Duna was offered to Ryan to fight him and that, and that Ryan was scared. Listen, the kid's been boxing since he was seven years old. I don't think it's a question about him being scared. I don't think Duna or Ryan are scared to fight. But I think, um, in my opinion, I see why there's a lot of pressure put on Ryan because Ryan has has uh, shown a persona where he's and he has where, where he's calling out that guy's yeah. like Tank Davis. Uh, can you turn off the fan? Uh, no, no, Tony, over there. Turn it off. There. You can hear it. For us. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, he's calling out guys like Tank Davis. He's he's on social media. You know, there's a lot. He puts a lot of weight on him. Right. Where when when the situation arises, he has to perform. Right. So people are out there saying. As far as him not wanting to fight Duna or wanting more money, I'm with them. Because this is a replacement fight. When in the history of boxing has a replacement been tougher than the actual opponent, right? We can go back with Tag Davis when Mars got hurt. Right. Who did he fight? A lesser opponent. A lesser opponent. Uh, Ganeti Golovkin when Canelo was caught with the Peds. Who did he fight? Vains Morris. Vains Morris. A fair opponent. You um, call him a fair opponent. Anthony Joshua did the same with Andy Reese, but that shit But that backfired on his ass. Up. So we know it wasn't a, a lesser Manny opponent; Pacquiao. it was a better opponent. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao with uh, Lole Lole Duaba. Right. Oh. For the for the opponent, Backfired. it's an opportunity for them. Exactly to know? showcase themselves. If, if you are prepared, boxing is a, a two-month mm. sport. You know, just two guys training. If you are trained, hey, you have a chance. No one gave uh, Mr. Andy Ruiz a chance to win. Nobody. You know, but look at what he did. He shocked the world. Uh, but I knew that Andy was a tougher fight than Baby Miller. But, oh, I mean too, so, bro, so, me too. But what I'm saying is... But we're talking about Andy was not a full camp. That's what we're saying. Like full camp. Camp. Yeah. So like what I'm saying is... Two weeks. Yeah. When does it really... When does your replacement is becomes a tougher opponent than your initial opponent? So on that, I'm, I side with Ryan, you know, like he demanded more money. There's, you know, there's a lot of things that we know that we can't say. So there's a lot of people out there making opinions, making these memes, and so on and so on. But no, but I, I think Ryan, he put it upon himself, right? Correct. Because he, he talks a big do. game. Yes. So when you talk a big game, you gotta deliver when the situation presents itself. And and, and I think, oh no, and, I, and I mean, let's not take it. In, I think we're gonna get Ryan Garcia versus Duno. But what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna talk from the bottom of my heart, and I hope. Ryan and his people comment tomorrow because they're going to comment tomorrow. They don't comment today. They'll comment tomorrow. If you guys do get that fight, I saw it in the interview. You guys said that Ryan Garcia is a main event fighter. I don't want to see this fight being piggybacked off Canelo November 2nd. I don't want to see a co-main event. If you're claiming to be a main event fighter, be a main event. I'm pretty sure Duno and him could fight here at the Dignity Center not November 2nd, but November the following weekend. It's probably going to be November 2nd. No, I know. I understand that. but, but, but I see no. your point. My point is, yeah. don't say that if, you don't, if you're not willing to commit and say, I am the main event, and I'm going to do it at the Dignity Center with my own car. I mean, I'm pretty sure they could get a car full for him with a couple of upcoming... Think he wasn't the main event. Right? No, I know, I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. So. But if you're the main event, showcase the main event by yourself. Don't pay it back November 2nd off Canelo. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and I know I'm going to hear about it tomorrow. I'm yeah. not going to hear about it today. Well, exactly, man. And another thing that I want to touch, and I'm sure I'll get shit on it too. I saw an interview where his, his lawyer said that Ryan was an elite boxer. I don't know. <laughs> what, he, what does he mean by that? In what, in what terms is he an elite fighter? But no, Ryan is a great contender he's an right. up-and-coming boxer but by no means is he at the elite level are you telling me that he's with at the level of tennis crawford you know canelo no. uh, lomachenko those are elite fighters no. i mean i like ryan we know him but i mean at this point he's not at the elite level stop putting this thing in his head and you're, he you're, needs to you're stop stunting his to growth too bro you're stunting his growth don't yeah. make him believe that he's already there when he is not there yeah and then and what happens is he starts listening to those people that are around him letting them know this shit so i hope ryan stays focused and stays grounded man so with that that's enough about ryan garcia yeah. right let's get on to why, the why don't we get uh ryan garcia and romero duno in the philippines Ooh. No. Ooh. Uh, bring it up. Bring it up. Yes. Tell me where, where in the Philippines. No, we can do it in Davao City. We can do it in Manila. Do we have a bigger arena over we there? We have a big arena. 60,000, 20,000 is their choice. And you think it would be gr a great fight for them to have over there I in mean, the Philippines? Romero Duno is a Filipino superstar right now. Oh. Especially that he fought uh, with, with, uh, in the card of Golden Boy. So... So, so if Ryan Garcia want, wanted to be an elite fighter, he should go. Fly he should to, go to the Philippines. Fly to the Philippines, prove to the world that you don't need to be uh, pampered here in the United States and go to the grounds of the enemy. 
and fight there. If you win there, you're a superstar overnight. Not only the Filipino people will see it, but the Asian people will see it as well. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Let's say he does a fight like that. He goes to the Philippines and fights Romero Duno. Let's say he wins, okay? I'm not saying that. I don't want people to, like, later on say, but Boxing Bracket said Ryan Garcia is going to win against Duno. I'm not saying that because I'm not there yet, okay? But what I'm saying is he goes over there. He wins, like you said. The Filipino fans are so loyal. They're like Mexican fans. They'll hop on the, the Ryan Garcia bandwagon and stick to it, right? Yes, they're going to be. He's going to be a household name overnight worldwide yes and not just in los angeles in the usa yeah. or yeah los angeles. whoever wins that fight is going to elevate oh, yeah. their stardom if to you want to be level. yeah if you if you say you're an elite fighter then you gotta show an elite way of doing it not just you know talking on the screen on the screen or or, or culinary media i heard it was other culinary media place but you know what i don't care about that all right man enough of the ryan garcia hopefully it happens i don't want to see it november 2nd though that's all i'm saying i want to see ryan garcia romero do not be their own main event and if we could get in the philippines hey ray are you taking me to the philippines i can take you to the philippines i like that even better man so let's do it in the philippines guys let's do this man i like it a lot all right let's just get to it um from Madison Square Garden on Friday, I'm going to talk about the girl that is not getting any compliments, but she should be getting it. And I know you're a promoter that's promoting one of the hottest young stars that is coming out, right? So Heather Hardy versus Amanda Serrano. Serrano wins by unanimous decision. But she's yeah. not getting the recognition, man. Why? I don't know, man. A lot of people, all the names are talking about. Is, I think it's the weight class. She's at a smaller division. A lot of talk is Clarissa Shields, Hammer, um... Even Cornejo, I don't know why. But I'm saying is Amanda Serrano is like a multiple division champion. champion. She has one loss, plus she has power, something that's kind of rare in female boxing, right? So, I mean, it's about she defeated this this uh, undefeated Fight. fighter in Hardy. I think it's about time to start elevating her, her name. Well, Mika has finishing. to write on that because the biggest friend that you've ever had on any sport or anything in the world is media mm. once media will take it then she's gonna be on another level so are you putting as a promoter are you putting the blame on us like the media no i'm not putting the blame on no no no, no i'm not saying that like you're saying it yourself but her, her team needs should to reach out to media people uh -huh. there's no competition here we love the media you, the media loves the fighter right. all you have to do is reach out to every media outlet out there you know they're there they're available they're there to help they want content so you, you do you think that um, her team needs to just get more aggressive with the media? Yes. The, and there you go, Amanda Serrano. You know, get your team behind the media. I think it will be a household name. I know you're doing it for La Cobra. La Cobra Ruiz. And and the the, 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 the Cobra is kind of like saying that's Amanda. She has power, man. So th those are gals that could give us some great fights, man. Entertaining fighters. Entertaining fighters. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think you have one. And they have one over there in the East Coast, you know what I mean? La Cobra Ruiz is fighting on October 12th, granting, um, you know, she will have a very uh, good win on this one. We're going to give her the WBC belt. Probably we're going to have East meets West because there's a, a Singaporean WBC silver champion right now that we're trying to look into. Into, so, fighting her. into fighting her. So she's going to be the challenger uh -huh. against a WBC champion. We're going to bring a Singaporean. You're going to bring her? You can't you know, go over there to Singapore? We'll bring her here because there's more sales. All roads come to the United States, man. All right. Not unless you really want to. Oh, I want to go to Singapore because I want to get, I want, I want them to put me in jail in Singapore. They don't play around. 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 They catch you with the joint. You'll, they'll give you the death penalty. <laughs> well, what are you fucking saying? A joint, bro? Like, I'm a fucking. I'm just saying. I'm marijuana, bro. Do not mess around over there. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, let me go to the main event where, speaking about the WBC, Devin Haney captured the WBC interim lightweight title against Abdullah Bey. Per what do you think, man? Perfect example of, of an up-and-coming fighter who doesn't talk too much, talks a little bit, but does everything in the ring. Right. And is slowly getting the respect of others. Um, and, I mean, he looked really impressive in his last fight. I mean, that dude didn't even win, like, I think 20 seconds of, the, of, of any round. No, it was just like a it was just like a blowout, dude. Yeah, like, bro. So that's a fighter that's constantly growing. I mean, he has a good head on his shoulders. Uh, he has the intern bout. Nice, kind of Lomachenko. What do you think about that? 
I not ready for Lomachenko. Okay, do you think uh, David Haney is ready for Lomachenko? No, I don't think so. But there is one contender that might be able to challenge uh, Lomachenko. Who is that? He's, uh, he's Filipino. Uh, Man, you promote another Filipino player. No. What's going on, Ray? His name is uh, Charlie Suarez. And I he, think this kid has a chance to go to. Yeah, he I, uh, he has uh, over three hundred amateur fights as well. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to bring him here. How old is he? How he's old is he? uh, uh L- Lomachenko's age. Thirty-one. Yeah, 30, 31. Mm. But this is the time they should fight because it's a great fight. It's two, a great fight. Two amateur gold medalists against each other at the hey, same weight class. Now let me ask you this. Because Lomachenko already proved it. He wants to go to other countries and conquer. He went to England for Luke Campbell. Will Lomachenko and, and, Charlie, Suarez. and Charlie Suarez be a good fight for the Philippines? It, it will be a great fight for the world, not just a fit for no, the No, 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 maybe, but yeah. to bring it, to take it, yeah? I think so. But what is Charlie Suarez's uh, record as a professional? Um, professional, he just turned pro, so I oh, think okay. that's, that's, that's what's holding back. But what's... What, what Lomachenko had an opportunity for the for the belt early on. This guy right. can also have the opportunity because with of the his type of amateur, amateur pedigree. Pedigree, three, over three hundred amateur. That's a lot of uh, and amateur. gold medalist as well. All right, let me. He was a gold medalist. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anthony Saldana says, if I go to Singapore, they're gonna cane my ass. <laughs> hey, come on, cut it out, bro. Cut or it out. or they might start praying him because he thinks he's Buddha. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I don't even All know. Right, right. All right, man. And now for the, the, the East Coast. Let me go to the Saturday night at the Dignity Center. I'm just going to give a couple of shout outs. I'm just talking about the main event. Shout out to Romero Duno for getting the win. Diego Pacheco, Rafael Gramajo, Joselito Velasquez. They all got the win. But I'm going to talk about the main event. Jaime Munguia versus Patrick Alod- Alodi. What did you think, man? Did he look different than... Uh, wow, I mean, look at the opponent. I think Jaime Munguia, you need to fight somebody that has a heart... A heart... Uh, Heart rate or a heartbeat, <laughs> right? I mean, this guy was put on their Mexican Independence Weekend. We, we, they wanted him to get the knockout. He has a new trainer. Why not try everything out with this this guy Elote? I mean, Elote. <laughs> Elote. Um, yeah, Elote. So, I mean, what do you expect? That's that's what was gonna. But happen, did you know? see anything different, or did, was it? The I saw, sa- I, I I saw the same guy Munguia from before. He What's still, name he still keeps his hands on. But one thing I did see, he was a little more more head movement. Okay. I, don't know, I don't know if you noticed that. What, do you th- what did you think about him? Did you see the fight? No, right? I, I no. did not see the fight. All right. But he did good. He, he, he stopped the guy in the fourth round. Yeah. He did what he was supposed to do. So that's something that you guys like as promoters, right? If you're fight, you know a, pro- a fighter. Like, let's say you have a fighter. You know that this guy has pop. You want him to stop the guy, right? Because you're going to get better no, showcase for your that's a defense. Fans. But that's a difference between red boxing and the rest of the promotional um, outlet out there. And because that, what are you going to tell me, bro? Because red boxing wants to build a champion of the people, not built by corporations. You know, we, we want to have a real champion out there. And that's the reason we are here. Red boxing is, is opening the gates from east to west. Uh-huh. We're not only talking about Philippines. We, we opened up the gates in Indonesia, in uh, Korea, Japan. We'll open the gates in Thailand. So all the good fighters there will come here. That's our, that's our vision and our, our vision. goal. So now... We have more, look. You have more fighters, more, more fighters more, coming in. We have more good fighters coming to challenge the American fighters, the Mexican fighters, yeah, yeah, yeah. the people from the, from the West. Uh-huh. And, and that brings, what we are trying to do as Red Boxing, you know, our team is trying to, to bring the, the, the good fight, the, the good. real fight, you know, where everybody will fight everybody and right. not just cherry picking it. And look, come on, he just said, just... Just, just give him a heartbeat, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or C- C- give him a CPR before putting him on the ring. Okay, what do you think about Ralphie Gonzalez says Jaime Munguia versus David Lemieux? Would that, would you, would that, if you were a promoter, would you do that fight? Ah, uh, yeah, that would be a, a f- uh, an interesting fight. Do they work with a lot of promotions? What is that? A lot of promotions has been around in the nineties. Uh, my family oh, yeah. and the Ala group have been working before. Before? Yeah. Long time. But are, are they still, they're, yeah. they're still, they're still, still there? Around. They're still around. They're still around. They're still yeah. one of the biggest promotional companies. Didn't one of those guys fight um, uh, Ricardo Lopez? Uh-huh. Isn't that like, yeah, I think the, I forgot the name of Filipino fighter that, and he lost that fight. I think that's when he started, when he retired, he started that. But I, um, but I think uh, Munguia is trying to go to 160. 
Yeah, that's what I'm fine. saying. That's why I think that's going to be on mute. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good one. All right. Let me go to Saturday night from uh, T-Mobile Arena where I saw at the, well, Anthony Saldana was over there. Where he at? was over at uh, Las Vegas. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, lucky you, Anthony. All right. So, big shout out to Carlos. Carlos Cuadras, Gabriel Flores Jr., he got the win, Emanuel Navarrete, oh, yeah. and um, let's just talk about two fights, Jose Pedraza versus Jose Chon Cepeda, Cepeda gets the unanimous decision, bro, just like I thought he would win, but I mean, he seems to like get a little nervous at the, at the, at the last, at the last rounds, didn't he seem like a little like a little, tentative, like yeah. a little tired, like second guessing himself, he got the win, I mean, he was pretty marked up though, I don't know if those are signs of him deteriorating already but i mean it was, it was his face was just too bashed up man but he says but he congratulations wants, he, congratulations to john yeah. Pedra. he won the battle of the jose's but he says he wants to get another rematch at ramirez another does rematch he deserve it i think that he'll lose that rematch he lose a rematch because i think at the, i think jose ramirez found something out at the end of the fight it, it um Cepeda won the first half i still scored it for Cepeda, but in a tight match but i think the later rounds i think that Ramirez will just pressure him a lot more. And I think that's a southpaw stance so Cepeda's will give him problems at the end. <laughs> but uh, if he wants a rematch, get a payday, why not? Oh uh, No, no, no. I'm going to get to that one, Ralph. Right now, I'll talk about it. Um, let's talk about the main event, the one that you don't want to talk about. Who? Tyson Fury versus no, 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 Otto no, no, no. Wally. You didn't like the, the, the entry. I love the way Tyson Fury walked in. I don't and know. I think promoters yeah. like Ray would love that, right? He's a showman. Do you like showman as a promoter? It has to be like that. Yeah, you go, bro. Oh, it has to, but I, th- I thought it was kind of cheesy, kind of a slap in the face of the Mexican culture. Ah, yeah. I mean, he, look, 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 look. He went and cut some by, by, by the, 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 me- the Mexican culture is not a damn Halloween costume, bro. <laughs> it's not something where I want to put a sombrero on and this thing, and I'm gonna have somebody sing El Rey, and that's it. I mean, does he really give well, an Rey F? Titanos, bro. I don't give a fuck. You don't care about hey, the but, good, but, but the good thing is it, that they made him fight like a Mexican, right? That, yeah, I was bro. I was laughing at that. You know, he's a good. I like him as a fighter. Um, one thing I don't like though is everybody just because of that fight. Oh my God, Wilder's gonna knock him out. Like, maybe well, you know Styles make fights. Styles make fights, and maybe Otto Wallen is that good? We don't know. Well, I'm gonna tell you this: his stock rice. Otto Wally, you know what I mean? Mm-mm. His stock is up there, bro. Uh, I know that a lot of people that wanna they wanna get their heavyweights tested, they're probably gonna call him, bro. He's gonna no, get paydays, bro. He's That's good. Get some good paydays. And some money. Um, but since uh, Anthony Saldana is talking about this, a lot of people have been talking about it. Out of Saturday's mm-hmm. fight out of the T-Mobile, mm-hmm. this came out: Ray Vargas versus Emmanuel Navarrete. Do you guys think that fight could be done? But he put Ray, Ray Sanchez or no, no, oh, no, Ray, it's Ray oh, Vargas. Oh, it's okay, Ray okay, Vargas. Okay. Uh, I think Navarrete. He's asking if who would win, Vargas or Navarrete. No, no, they're trying to get that fight going, bro. Let's do it. I think Navarrete guys will get him. You think Navarrete? You, you guys like the fight? You guys it's like Navarrete versus Ray Vargas? No. Vargas is gonna box him. He's gonna use his jab. He's yeah. gonna move around all night. But I think at the end of the day, Navarrete will get him. All right. It's just, dude, that dude is a killer, man. Fun right. to watch. Well, the, the, Fun to watch. I mean, people got into like what's cooking and boxing, but I'm gonna get into some of the mm-hmm. other stuff. Okay, what's cooking and boxing is Frank Warren says, "Hold up, everybody! Wilder versus Fury is gonna be on hold till that eye gets healed. Forty-seven stitches, bro. Forty-seven yeah. stitches, bro. Yeah, two cuts. That's two cuts. It's forty-seven yeah. stitches. So until he's fully healed, he's getting that rematch. He's not getting that. No so, so that means how long? A year, two hours? I don't know, I, I don't know bro. What does that mean? How long does it take to, to heal that? Uh, we'll ask our... Have you, have you guys ever been cut? No, never. The one thing I've heard is that they have to sew the inside first and then the outside. If they just close Ooh. it up, it's always going to pop open. Are you serious? Okay, so what I'm hearing right now from our what special is. guest team is that they first have to sew inside and they gotta sew then they gotta sew the outside so that's what's probably gonna take the longest guys so we don't know when the the rematch could happen so but, but that's what frank but, warren but, said but what do you think what do you think he, i mean his performance uh, i mean he took risks that's what i think i just i just I feel think he was being a showman i don't know maybe like maybe i'm speaking to him maybe auto wallen is that good but i just feel that if that was wilder in that oh, position and wallen fought that type of fight i don't think this guy would go 12 rounds. No, 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 no. Is it possible that, that Tyson Fury lost a step because of that 12th round with, with Wilder? The knockout, the, the Undertaker? Yeah. 
Is it possible? Can, can, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a high possibility. I mean, I know he fought Schwartz and he beat him, yeah. but come on. Who's the guy Schwartz, yeah. right? Possibility. Maybe, I mean, there's maybe. only one way of finding out, and that's with the rematch. But, 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 but he got his bell wrong, dude. That's what happens when you get yeah. knocked down, right? He, it, it he was dead, bro. He was dead for like yeah. eight seconds, and then he woke the fuck up. And he almost got knocked down yeah. in the 12th round of this one. Yeah. I, I understand he was blinded from one eye. Yeah. I get that. All right, there's another one, bro, that's out there. Roy Jones Jr. supposedly got a call to fight Mike Tyson. What? Uh, what? They want to do that fight. I don't know who, who wants to watch that, bro. Oh Did you guys think they should make that fight? Yeah, WWE. Oh, what's up? <laughs> it's all about the money. <laughs> money. <laughs> I don't want to watch that, bro. I don't want to watch it. They're both. Uh, you don't, you don't want to watch it, but when it happens, you're going to be streaming it, dude. Trust me. <laughs> I always say the same thing, and I'm always watching. You, you, I'm you, always watching. You watch I get, it? Dude, I stood up till 5 a.m. in the morning to watch Floyd against right. that dude, um, the kickboxer. Hey, Merecito. <laughs> Hesta's on here. Filipino Pinot 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 Pride, man. What's up, uh, what's up, Merecito? When are you coming on, bro? We got to get you back on the show. All right. Finally, the last one. Oscar De La Hoya oh, says, no. GG will be one of Canelo's opponents in 2020. I believe him. You believe him? Yes. You believe him? That, w- that would be a nice one. Mm. And uh, our promoters are like alike. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Any, anything that could generate money, that's where it's at. I mean, who else? But when when Canelo fights Kovalev, win or lose, we understand why he's fighting Kovalev. Oh, no. We know. He's the older cat, right? It's still, it's still a big risk. It is. He should still get the credit if he wins. But after that fight, he's coming back to 160. We know that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Wait, it's too big. Yeah. Yeah. It's too I big. mean, if he can't, if he, what's up, Nate? If he can't hurt um, Kovalev, then then Canelo's in deep trouble, man. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know. It's it's a risky fight. All right, guys. I'm gonna get a little bit with with Ray here, man. Since I have Ray, Ray's got a lot of special things. Ray no longer is a organizing body. Talk to me a little bit about that. What happened with oh, GBO? No. No, 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 talk to me, talk to me. You, 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 you told me. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. <laughs> no, GBO. Um, it's I, still happening. Yeah, it's still happening. It's still it's still out there. But um, I gave that um, work or that job to my dad. Because, uh, you know, it's just something. Fuck, Ray, you could have given me that. <laughs> hey, Ray, get, Ray buys companies to give them away. Man, yeah. Ray's just giving That's away uh, <laughs> organizations away, huh? <laughs> I built other people's <laughs> dreams. There you go. Hey, that's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get to. We got a little bit into it, and and, and I like what you said. You said, for uh, Adelaida, I'm building her dream. Her dream was is to get capture the WBC belt. Is that a philosophy of red boxing? That's why you're sticking straight to being the promoter now. Yes, that's gonna be that's. Why are, why are we promoting if we're still mm-hmm. doing the same thing what other people are doing? Right. Well, I'll just get a boxer, have him fight, and that's it. Right. We do promotion because we saw that there's something else to be done. Mm-hmm. You know, we cannot change the, the, the way it's going to be. You know, just change the sizzle, just like yeah. a steak. You know, just different sizzle. Yeah. In it. We want to bring in something new. What, what is one of the things that you want to bring that's new, that's different from all the promoters? Well, number one, um, our vision is to bring the best fights out there as we grow. Mm -hmm. We don't want to compete with anybody. We can work with anybody in association with this company, in association with that company, because it brings our main concern is not our pocket. You Mm -hmm. know, as you can see, we already have that. You know? Yeah, I can tell. What we we do, do not have is bringing the fight to the people. It's it's the fans, man. Absolutely. The secret the secret sauce is really on the, the fans. fans' side. They have to love it, you know. And 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 we bring back the old fights. Mm-hmm. Imagine if Muhammad Ali never fought Joe Fraser, just because they're scared. Because one promotional company doesn't want to fight each right. other. Just imagine that George Foreman did not fight Muhammad Ali. We wanna bring it back to the people, and not just in the pocket of the promoters. Okay. Now, I saw. I've been seeing you. You've been. You've been to Golden Boy events. Are you guys working? Ray Ray is working with Golden Boy. Or what, what's happening there? We are. We are. We are hiring. Um, Rolando Arellano, who's been a Golden Boy. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who that is, Arellano. So, so 
with with his expertise and his experience mm -hmm. you know that that's the that's a beauty of it you don't need to have a lot of experience you'll just have to hire a consultant to give you that experience right so with with um, Rolando Arellano's blessing we will be able to move faster this time and the way we want it the way the direction we want it to be we will be friends with golden boy we'll be friends with top rank we'll be friends with every everybody we mm -hmm. just want to bring the best fight to the people give so, it to the people man. so uh, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if i'm getting it straight red boxing is for the people by the people yeah just like the constitution exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying to me, man? no because it's really why are why are these two guys thing. fighting inside the ring they could just go on the street and fight with right, no right, fans you know? that's, what, that's what it is with no fans right, right, right. We, we want the fans to see the real boxing man like what are we doing? We have to drag a de dead body to the ring for, for our fighter to be mm -hmm. built up and knock him out. That's mm -hmm. what What's going to happen? We're going to lose the cred credibility of our boxers. We lost credibility of the sport. Like MMA is a great example. They do that. A guy could have four losses and 15 wins. He's still famous. Who cares He's still known. about exactly. the losses? I mean, but that's the norm. Roberto Duran had 19 losses. Exactly. Okay, let me ask you this. Yes. Uh, I have Joshua Ma Maton or Maton. He mad? Right. No. no, no. He <laughs> said, Maton means killer. He said, Spanish. No. He <laughs> say, he's saying yeah. systems have to change for all the promoters. Is that what? Is that something you feel too as a promoter? We're just gonna have to change the sizzle of the steak. Sizzle. Say, change you the know? sizzle. Just a little. Sizzle change there. a little flavor. Put a little bit. Put a little bit of pepper. Yeah. You know, the pressure. You do like that or what? Exactly. Right, but I we can't. We you know red boxing is still a company red boxing cannot survive on its own right we need to have the people behind red boxing Absolutely. in order for us to be inspired but, but and i'm gonna tell you something you got the right venue bro you bring in this arena pico rivera you give me that live bro that pico rivera sports arena a lot of fans go there it's nice in the open um tell us tell, tell the fans a little bit about that that experience man well the pico rivera arena we chose pico rivera arena because with my love and respect to the latino community the pico rivera arena if you look at the history that is the madison square garden of the latino people <laughs> if you want to develop latino fighters mm -hmm. why not bring it to their home right 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 That's they have the great concerts there too there. <laughs> they have great concerts you know? there. <laughs> yeah, we, we're gonna bring concerts there too. <laughs> There's a lot of banda a and you know the the <laughs> charriadas. And a yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Since you said you want to make, is there a fight out there that's not being made because of that? The whole politics, that, of Boston politics that you would make right now. What's a fight that you would make? That's per, that's being prevented because all the politics and uh, promoters, I mean, managers, and boxing. That's a very sensitive and a touchy question. We told you, man. Well, you I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, me. Yeah. I would make Spence versus Crawford. Yeah. Let's cut the bullshit. Let's yeah, make this fight. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Or 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 Tank and Lomachenko. Boom. Here yeah. we go. You know. Esmeralda Saligan Sandoval says, "We the people." And we demand a real fight. That's what they want. The people want the real fight. Go like to, you said. Go to a red boxing event, then you'll see a real fight. Right. People are on their feet all the time. If you haven't oh, yeah, been bro. there, be there. October 12th, it's going to be a concert and a slugfest. Look at Manny Pack is a great example. He lost. He got from the Nagara Marquez. This, la this last pay-per-view, he did over 500,000 pay-per-view. Keith Key Thurman... Um, Pacquiao. That's more than Spence, Mikey Garcia. But yes. the, and this guy is already uh, forty years old. He's still the, forty plus. But exactly. that's the thing that the Manny Pacquiao is an anomaly of boxing. Oh, an, he wasn't supposed to be a world champion. He was a, a replacement of Lolelo Ledwaba. Then right. what's next? They tried to take away the championship away from him, so he, he gave him all the, the the big fights. So he beat them all, everyone. He beat everybody. So now Manny Pacquiao is not a paper champion. He's not a corporate champion. Manny Pacquiao is a champion of the people. Oh, yeah. And we need that. We need another Manny Pacquiao. We need another Ooh. Mike Tyson. We need another Muhammad Ali. These are the champion of the people, man. You're not going to have another gonna Manny Pacquiao. I'm, I'm not saying, no, I don't, yeah. think, I don't think we <laughs> I need mean, an, an, another one. I think we need guys that are going to do the same thing they, they're, yes. they're doing. Yes. All right. And I think... 
I, I don't think he, he that Ray you meant that it's a new Madison Square Garden, but I think what he means is historically there's yeah. been fights. There. He's not being literal. You know what I mean? He's literal. not being literal. No. So I mean, some people over yeah. here are like that's the new MSG. Come on, man. He's just being it's literal. Okay. No, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's talk about. You're also doing besides doing the show. You're also doing an award show. Oh, what are you giving awards to, Ray? That's um October nineteenth. Oh, uh, a uh, week after the show. See. What, what I see in boxing, we have world champions, you know, Paul Banks, you know, we have other world champions that had already been forgotten. <laughs> we want to we wanna honor them every year. It's like a monument. And on top of that, so all of these um, champions will get a recognition medal, her. recognition for sure, for sure, you know, and, and certificate. But we're also going to recognize like Catman of the Year, you know, Trainer of the Year. Promoter of the year, like media of the year, you know, boxing mm. rundown, you know, Ooh, we're gonna do that. Why? Don't, don't, don't make me go because I do a speech, bro. Can, can I use profanity or no? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just you know, we, we we want we want to honor the people that has been building boxing mm -hmm. in the ring and outside the ring. Come Agreed. on, man. The media is the core source of this sport. Well, and, 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 and you know what? Though? Media doesn't get enough respect sometimes. Exactly. And, and, I, and I appreciate what you're doing. And I'm not saying because the, the rundown is we, we do this for the people. We, well, you know, we, we do have, our part. We do our part. But mm -hmm. I know there's guys out there in the gyms putting in that hard work, putting in those interviews, yeah. getting cameras in front of those guys' face, you know, and like asking them the tough questions and everything like that. Those guys are the guys that are pushing mm -hmm. seats into you guys' show. And when I see a promoter that says, you know what, I appreciate the media. I appreciate those guys that are out there. I mean, I give you a big thumbs up, man. Cause yeah, because, yeah. It's, it's a lot. That's where I started, man. Piggybacking off what you said, when the, when the fight, when a big fight is over, the first thing I go is YouTube. Yeah. Guys like Fino Pimentel, even Vilify, you know, Fino Boxing, Supreme Boxing, uh, Ali Setback. Boxing Hype. All those guys. Yeah. I go to them to see what they're interviewing after the fight. So they're a big part. Yeah, you want they're to a big give part. back to what they are yeah. doing. No one's, they are the ghosts. But now with Red Boxing, they mm -hmm. will no longer be the ghosts. Mm -hmm. You know, they will be in the open field. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the event is called Almirantes Cup, by the way. In oh. re yeah, in recognition to my grandfather who had promoted since 1960s so there you go guys and, uh, okay and, it, does, and, and, and it doesn't matter if you do the interview with the iphone person that says that all the time you know what i'm talking about oh it doesn't hey, cut matter it out, bro cut it out all right yeah. um <laughs> ruben queer says ray do you think duno is on the path to be like the next manny pacquiao i mean like i said i made uh the next manny pacquiao <laughs> I don't think Manny Pacquiao will be replicated exactly. in the next right. 100, 200 years. Mm -hmm. But will he be a world champion? He has a chance. He's a, he's a uh, Filipino warrior, man. That he wait, wait, when you saw Duno lost against a Russian kid, if you look at that, it's on, it's on YouTube. He fought his heart out. Ow. He never quit. You know. Now he has good management behind him. He has good trainer behind him. He has good conditioning behind him. The only thing is who has the better trainer and who has the better team right. against against someone else. Like Ryan Garcia. Yeah, like Ryan Garcia. <laughs> so, you know, if Ryan Garcia said wants to set foot to the Philippines, that's going to make him a household name overnight. If that fight happens in the Philippines, I mean, we got to go to the Philippines, man. And People you will take go. Me. Yeah, no, no. People no, no. will go. We got to go. I mean, <laughs> no, we've never been there. Are you going to go, bro, or what? You need a passport? No, 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 no I'm, visa. I'm going to no. go down there and meet me and my Filipino wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, hey, you don't need guy, a visa, bro, just a passport. Okay. okay. Just, get a, okay. just get a passport, bro. Get a passport, dude. All right. Um. They're saying you're like Bane. You want to give everything back to the people. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I'm gonna, and you have not changed. I've not known you for how long, Ray? A couple of months now? Nah, it's been more than a couple of <laughs> months. It's, like, it's been more. It's been <laughs> like about, uh, six months. Yeah. I'm going to tell you guys this. It's been about six months. And Ray has always had the same vision. He has always had the same like goal to give it to you guys. He, he gives you guys fights because he wants to match guys. Very even, man. I mean, when you go to a red boxing event, there's no like walk. Me. Sometimes I think that uh, the red corner one, the blue corner, that's how even. There's no like, 
Oh, whoever's in the red corner are the winners. Yeah. It's kind of hard, bro. You know, that's the only thing I get confused about because I'm like, man, at red boxing, you're like, you can't say like, fuck, uh, I already know the favorite is going to be the red corner. He always puts a good show, man. So if you guys want, don't forget October. October 12th, uh, we have a heavyweight world title event. It's a GBO title fight. Um, uh, Pico Rivera. Uh, there's gonna be a, it's gonna be a star-studded show. Um, Snoop Dogg will be there. Snoop Dogg. Uh, Ray J. Ray. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Ray I've, Ray seen, Ray I've seen I've seen his videos. Just to name a few, but this is my gift to the Latino community, which we are under negotiation right now. My gift to the Latino fans, the group uh, groupie for me might be there. You know that a huh? uh, band. Grupo Ferme. Who the heck is that? Firme? Yeah. Firme. Yeah. Ooh, Firme. Yeah. That's this guy. Grupo Firme. That's this guy right here. He's in the band too. Yeah. He's, he's in a boy band right here. <laughs> so we're trying to bring bring other uh, Latino bands to the show as well. Is that, what kind of music is that? Like banda? Or yeah. Uh, okay. Or reggaeton. Okay. 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 Here we go. Wait up, wait up. Uh, I think she's talking to me though, not to, not to you. But <laughs> Esmeralda Saligan Sandoval says, "You're welcome to our city, Davao City. What is Davao? Davao Where's Davao? Davao City is Davao. um, it's a it's the safest city in the world, man. Oh wow! If you, oh, you? if you leave your wallet inside a taxi, you will see that wallet in the city hall. That's where we want to go. Yeah. You know no what city is that same thing? Oh, no, Mexico City is the same way. No, 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 no. You know what though? Um, I mean, I, I, I want to go to the Philippines. Let's mm. make sure Ryan Garcia, Duno Romero, get it on in the Philippines, man. Let's do that. Let's not piggyback off Canelo uh, yeah. November 2nd. Come on, man. Let's do a main event. Make All your right. own name. Go to another yeah. country. Fight for, uh, fight for your fame. Oh, uh, Jaime Cusero says Ray J. Star, he's cute. Oh, so está well. <laughs> no, he said está, está chiludo. Uh, Thank my mom and my dad. Oh, that's what he said. Oh, shit. Uh, There's a video of him and uh, Kardashian. That's why he's in it. You, oh, you guys have been watching that? Uh, I've seen it. No, I've seen that video. Uh, uh. Ray J will be there spe speaking about the Kardashian. Uh, right, damn, damn, Jaime, what's wrong? Well, what Snoop Dogg, man. Snoop Dogg's going to be there, yeah. right? Uh, Snoop Dogg, Ray J, the Logan, uh, Logan Paul, and Jake Paul will be there oh. as well. Oh. Are they gonna be there? Yeah, it's it's gonna be a star-studded night. I'm gonna be there. You will be there. I'm gonna I mean, be there. These these fighters are training their 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 butts off. Their butts off, you know, their ass off. Then who's gonna see them? Give it's, them an opportunity for the world to see these fighters. It's a Not good atmosphere. It's outside. Hey, well, let me ask you this: Where can people get tickets? Because it's mean, already it's out. where are they uh, sold out? Yeah, it's uh, no. Uh, the floor is almost sold out. So you gotta God, come in now. We only have a few tables left because we will have a, a table. So you'll have your own waiter. You'll have people. Yeah, you don't have to leave. You know. Hey, you better shut up because like, I ain't got that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bottle service. Oh, yeah, bottle yeah. service. Le 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 LeBron over here. Yeah. LeBron James. Over here. He's in a band, you know. <laughs> For a hundred and fifty dollars, you know. Oh well, you're gonna get a bottle for hundred fifty dollars. Yes. You got everything. What kind of bottles? Bucanas. Uh, <laughs> we'll have good, everything. We Can have we sneak a, in our own stuff? No, no. Can no, no, no. We have Casa Tequila for sure. Oh, there you go. All right. I so, love Eric, man. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Let's do this. Uh, but can they get tickets from your website or? Yeah, ticket on. Ticket on. You you go to ticket on. It's a uh, it's in Hispanic and it's in uh, English, so you guys can order. Jose Reyes says, "Can you take a show to Bakersfield like that?" Yeah, we can take we can take a show anywhere. This is just <coughs> it takes time for people to believe what we are really trying to do. Once we have the people behind us here in Cal uh, in LA, then we'll take over California. Then we'll take over other states. We're already in talks in New York and in Texas. God damn, we are. We have done shows. We, we're gonna have a show in the Philippines in November 29th and December. I could go to those. You know, I mean, we are trying to 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 do this as fast as we can. But we can only go as fast as we can by the people who who, who takes care of us, who loves us, mm -hmm. and who understands our vision. What is your time frame? I know you said as fast as you can, but do you have a, cer a certain time frame in mind that you that or grow or a goal where well, you want to get to? Red boxing has only been one year. Mm. Look at what we have done. Yeah, you know they're, they're moving fast. They're moving fast. <laughs> this they're is fast. as fast as you can get in a grassroots level. Yeah, we're not no. buying fans here. 
You know, we're not forcing people That's to pay 1999 dollars. No, no, you're doing, you're doing for everything for organic. You know? Building the foundation so with strong are, legs. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I want you one day to have Miguel Cubos. He just jumped on. He's one of our, fa- uh, our favorite fans. He's a, he fights a cruiserweight. Heavyweight. No, he's a cruiserweight. cruiserweight but he, fight, okay. he fights okay. heavyweights, okay? Miguel Cubos, quiero que te agarre Ray para una pelea. Mi- no, he, he's a fan favorite, bro. He he, really he'll his give his heart. He'll fight yeah. his, all, his ass off. Yeah. I mean, you have my Instagram, Ray Rodriguez. Yeah. DM me there, then we'll work something out. Miguel, manda un mensaje aquí a Ray, okay? Porque quiero verte una de sus There's this guy named James the Beast Wilson. This that, guy that, that, they, no, it was a draw, but they Cubos was there to get knocked out. That didn't happen. Yeah. See, the thing is, we oh. give you an equal that, opportunity. Cruiser way, I told you. Cruiser way, okay, okay. Gracias, way. Miguel. All right. Thank you. Now, do you want to do the introduction? Because I know you brought me somebody from that car for October, right? Yes. You did? Yes. All right. Do you want me to do the intro yeah, or do you, you want to do it? You can do the introduction. All right. So, I have you from Montebello, but are you from Montebello or East LA? East LA. All right. Here we go, my man. <laughs> so, Montebello. straight from East Los California, <laughs> we have... The guy that'll be, is he the cold main event or is he the card? He's, just be He's in the card. He's in the card on October for red boxing. The one and only Alex Thunder Martinez. <laughs> You're on this side, bro. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right, Thunder. Man, Thunder, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You know who used to, they used to call it Thunder, right? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, oh, I'm saying thing, Thunder oh, Daddy right there. That's my favorite fighter right there. Do you feel pressure? Um, not pressure wise. I mean, I, like I said, like I, the reason why I love Gotti and the, re- the reason why they call me Thunder, uh-huh. Thunder Gotti had heart. Right. You know, he, he had, he didn't, he went in the ring with all he, with all, with everything. You know, he gave, he it, he gave it his up. life to yeah. in the ring. Yeah, so and that's what I'm, I'm the same way too. Um, I show the, I show love all the fight, all the fight fans. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give them the opponent a fight, and they're gonna enjoy it. So that's why that's why my name is Thunder right there. How did Red Promotions and Thunder come together? Caesar, uh, Caesar, 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 yeah, Caesar. Yeah, Caesar yeah. Oh, Caesar yeah. from Caesar. Black House. Yes. Yeah, Black House. Oh, yeah. And it's it funny. And it's funny too. Uh, it was me a Hennessy. Back on all this started too. They were building up too. I, I was I was an amateur as well. And that's when I had, I had we had ran into him too right there at uh, Elite Pro Boxing, right? Yeah, at so, Elite Pro, yeah, with Steve Rodarte. Okay. All right. So let me. Okay, tell me a little bit about you, brother. Tell me a little bit about how did Alex start the whole boxing game, bro? Uh, well, I started I started boxing at the age of four. I did it for about six years. Damn, bro, what you tell me? Four? <laughs> hey, that's my hey, my pops wanted it. He wanted me to get started and keep going, man. Um, but I, I had other sports playing too. Um, as a kid, or as all my family too, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be playing a sport, being active. Um, I, I love playing sports. Um, my main thing was baseball. Mm-hmm. I played football. I played basketball. I played soccer, but I didn't like it. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Um, but baseball, I played all the way. I did t-ball all the way to high school, all the way to college. Mm-hmm. Um, right after college, uh, they told me, you know, I, it sucks. That's why I tell everybody too. Don't listen to what people tell you. You know, mm-hmm. they told me I was too short to play. To play baseball. To play baseball. Okay. My pro, my dream was to be a professional baseball player. Mm-hmm. But they told me I was too short. So once he told me that, it kind of it kind of threw me How down the you? bus. I'm five five. Five five. Yes, sir. Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, they're well, short what too. What, 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 what position fighters? were you playing? I was I was second. You know, I played everywhere. I was an uh, utility player. Mm-hmm. Uh, my high school, I finished my senior year as a third baseman. Um, shortstop second, but I mean I could play anywhere besides first. You know, I'm too, I was too short for that one. Hey, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> like, like, okay, now growing up in East LA, there's there's a lot of things that could be extracurricular. Was that something that your parents wanted you to avoid? That's why they had you playing a lot of sports. Um, you know what? That's a tough one. I mean. My par- I mean, my parents, they, when in, their, in their time, it was, I guess it was different. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but they, like they said, um, they're happy that how we are right now. Yeah, how you Is we weren't back how they, how do you say it, like, well, they're just glad say they're it, not bro, happy where we're at it. right now, you know? Right, right, right. So, like, I'm blessed with beautiful parents that raised us right, all my brothers. Um, they raised us right to be in sports, 
to treat others right and uh, to respect everyone. So we we stood away from we stood away from all that drama off the, off the streets, mm-hmm. you know, and and I'm and I'm grateful I'm grateful for that because I wouldn't be where I'm at where I'm, I'm at today. So your parents said it was crazier back then because it was no, it was yeah, it big was time, good. yeah, big time. It was, yes, yeah. I'm a, I'm a nineties baby. Nineties man, yeah. I'm a nineties four baby. Oh, you were born. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I, and I'm gonna hit you with the cell phone right now. Okay. And I like what you just said. You you guys are a, a beautiful place. You guys are a, a, a location. Now tell me what drives you to do what you do in boxing, man. Right now, I, I want to know. What drive? What drives me? What drives um, you? that's a good question. <sighs> you know what? At first, when I, when, I, when I started this, when I was young, when I was four years old, um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet. Mm-hmm. But once baseball came along, that was my main, my main goal. My main thing I wanted to do, be a professional, baseball be on player. TV, right. be in the big leagues. Right. Once they told me, yeah, like, when I'm too short to play, you know, I, I'm like, you know, I'm not, I didn't want to work an 8 to 5 job, a 9 to 5 job. I didn't want, I couldn't see myself doing this for the rest of my life. So, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm take a step back on what I enjoyed doing when I was a younger kid. And, you know, I said, I'm going to go back into boxing. Uh-huh. So once that started, um, times times was going on. You know, I, I loved it. I saw the way my changed my body as well. I started getting better at it, uh, meeting a lot of people as well. Um, and right now, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm a professional boxer, and I'm going to just keep going and growing and see what happens in the future. Okay. Uh, I see Team Martinez. Yes, sir. Okay. What does Team Martinez represent, bro? Team Martinez. Well, this, this is my. This is our family team. You know, I've, I follow, we have two shirts as well. Is we have another one as our legacy so- sangre. You know, like I follow my dad's steps too as well. My dad was also a professional boxer. What, what was your dad? Give your dad's name right now. Sure, hey, hey, I'm right there. My sh- Alex the Hammer. Martino. Alex Martinez. Martinez. Huh. <laughs> Right, yes, well, sir. Bring over here, bro. Bring one day to the rundown. You want to come to the rundown, and I know you're already pound, so you're gonna be good over here. Is your no. dad? Is your, is your dad the one that geared you into boxing? Like as a little kid, did, did he have you like hitting the mitts right away? Um, it, when I was when I was younger, uh, it was learning. Tried learning. It was learning the basics first. You know, you're because coming into boxing, you gotta learn the fundamentals. Your but feet what work. I'm saying, did, did he like instill that in you? Like, I want my son to be a boxer. Um, uh, that type of thing. You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm going to have to ask him. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, you better do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, he did learn. He, I'm, I, I kind of see what you're saying because hmm. he started at four years old. That's kind of young. But honestly, the way I hear it is you mainly focus on baseball. So yes. he really didn't push him. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it was something that you... you I something I, I probably wanted to fall, fall back into. Yeah, fall Why didn't you like soccer, though? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know why. It just I uh, not. I mean, not saying I wasn't good. It's just trying oh. to kick the ball, and then it was, just, it was just hard, you know. My son used to play soccer, and he would be sitting down, bro, while everybody was running and kicking. I'm like, get <laughs> up, dude, get up. And then plus, you're running, running this way, you gotta exactly. go back that way. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. So let me ask you this, man. <laughs> what should fans know about Alex Martinez fights? Well, the fans, you know what? Well, every time I fight. You know, I bring, I, I bring, I get the crowd on their feet. You know, I'm, a, I'm an exciting fighter to watch. Um, everyone loves me. I give back to my my community as well too. I show a lot of love and support to everyone. So I think that's what makes the fans make them want to be there for me. Mm-hmm. And then I appreciate the love and support that everyone shows me, my family, everyone. Um, so I think that's one of the big reasons why mm-hmm. they want to stay with me. Because I mean, like I said. I'm there for them and I'm there for me. Okay. Now, now how, how is it working with Ray Ray Rodis? Oh uh, well, this, well this, is our, this is our first time, first time, time, first time we're together. Yeah, Ooh. so October 12th. You know, it's yeah. something. It's gonna be a big, a big event. You know, I'm looking well, forward for this one too. Get Snoop Dogg. Yeah, bro. that's what I said too. When he told me, I was like, uh, now, put now, me now, in that part. Xavier was like Ray J. When you said when you said Ray when you said Ray J, I got goosebumps. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> are you gonna let Snoop Dogg spark up a big joint? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he probably, uh, he, he probably won't listen. He's probably just gonna do it himself. That's a federal uh, property, so I don't, I don't think it's legal there. <laughs> good, uh, good answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, October 12th, Monica Rocha will be there. Okay, let me ask you this. Now, I know he asked you, Xavier asked you, how is it to work with Ray? Ray, you right away when we booked the show, you said. 
I want to bring in Alex Martinez. Why did you want to bring Alex? Tell me, tell me why. It's really easy, you know. People have to understand what boxing is. Mm -hmm. If you want to see someone make it, you have to understand some few points. Right. Number one, amateur background. Number two is family. You need family support. You can't do this working at Target yep. while running in the morning. No. You know? It's tough. You have to do this full time. Mm -hmm. You know? <coughs> then the third is, which is the most important part of the formula, mm. is himself. He has to want it. Right. And you can hear it from his voice that he wants it. He's not here talking like a timid little mouse. Right, he right, has right. a good voice because he's confident in what he's trying to do and he's trying to go. You, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Gold adage. Yeah. Now, when you hear the promoter say things like that, how do you feel, Alex? So, stuff like that, it makes, me, it makes me feel good. It makes me want it more, mm -hmm. even more than I really want it. Uh, like you said, when I, when I train, I give it all I got. Mm -hmm. you know, boxing, it wants your life. It's going to take right. it all from it's you. you know? Exactly. You know, you got to have the determination, the dedication to this sport. You can't half-ass this sport. You can't at all. Because if not, you're losing already. Right. You know, so like I said, I train every day. I work hard. You know, my pops, my brother as well. We, we, we're working hard until October 12th. Even after October 12th, wherever the, another the event's next done, level, the next we're chapter. going. We're continuing. You know, that's why I, I hopefully bless, thank you, God, that I come out safe and clean. And we're moving on to the next one. Um, hi, guys. Johnny from California Creole. Have you ever gone and done that Creole thing? That, uh, the California Creole? Yes, yeah, it Kyle. is. Yes. Kyle. Okay, Kyle. <laughs> Creole. Kyle. So Where? cold, man. It's cold in there? You got in there? No, it is. Johnny's the best. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it like, uh, like a Junior Bronco. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. <laughs> what I mean, I'm going to wear like... You got frostbite. Yeah, frostbite. Wow. So, but, Johnny, let me know if I could go, bro. I want to try that. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Ray spoke a little bit about your amateur. Talk to me about the amateur pedigree, bro. Yes, uh, my amateur. I only had I only had nineteen fights. Mm -hmm. Nineteen. I didn't have a big uh, am, a amateur. big amateur background. Like like you said, like how people were saying, Ryan had like over three hundred amateur fights. Right. You know, I didn't I didn't have that big background. I didn't start when I was like four years old to my amateurs continuing going. Mm -hmm. You know, I started probably when I was. 21, 22. 20. Oh. I'm 24 years old right now. What? Yeah, I'm 24 years Damn, old. Damn, bro. She's <laughs> fucking young, dude. I thought you were like 19, dude. Hey, I'll take that, too. I'll take that. Well, I'm 18, bro. <laughs> 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 there you go. The dad looks young, too, though. Yeah. I, uh, I get to where I get my, that's probably where I get my dad's looks. Uh, you guys are eating uh, uh, years, no? <laughs> you look young, bro. You look like Thank you. Like I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank 24 you. 24 and yeah. so all the dad. I know. So you still... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 46, okay. So you huh? start at 21. Yes. Amateur, yes. Correct? What makes you say, well, you know what? I'm a good pro. Fuck it. You know, I'm a good pro. From 21 to what? What? How old were you when you turned pro? Uh, 23, I believe. Okay. 23, so 24. Two years. Two, two years. years. And said, it wasn't a big gap distance, no, no, too. So you know. You said, Vamonos. Exactly. Like I couldn't see myself. Like amateurs, I love. I love the amateurs as well because that's where you get your experience as well. You know, but it's once you step in the pro ring, the pro ranks, it's a totally different level, big time. So that when I told myself, you know, I, I can't see myself keep doing this for amateurs. I couldn't keep going and going and going. And I got to step up my game already. I'm to this point, like I, my age, I don't know when my age is going to stop or when is my body's going to give up. So I'm like, I told myself, I'm going to, I'm going to go pro now. I felt the confidence that I was ready and I wanted to take that to the next step. But, but you know what, your age, I think. It's determined by how many miles you have. Like you get a guy like Marquez or Bernard Hopkins, they start at a later age. Correct. But they last it to they later last because the long, they yeah. have a lot of mileage on yep. them. So I think that's also how many how many rounds have you boxed? How much damage have you taken? I think that's also that's also so it's not only your age, you're still young, bro. Yeah. yeah. Be honest, really always tell me too. People always tell me like I always get like eighteen, nineteen nothing. years old. Uh yeah. but like like from twenty four I feel really good for my age. Right. I feel you excellent. Haven't, you haven't peaked yet. Yeah, that's all. Like you guys, you guys, people yeah. tell me you haven't seen, you haven't seen past like that. I'm no, like, dude, yeah. okay, all right, I believe. I'm not you. at your best yet. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Big shout out to Rick H. Martinez. Says that's my nephew. You that's my Theo right there. Right there. <laughs> Big shout out to you, bro. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so 
you, it's a big family. I see the family support here. You have uh, also, I see the the follow up on social media. They, they're Team Martinez is pushing. There's sh- jer- there's T-shirts like you said. I'm hoping Pops gives me one of those legs. Oh yeah, we'll take care of you. I got you. We got you. You know, I'll be taking the shirt. You know, I always wear. That's what I'm wearing. Uh, we're ready. You know, fit gear. Oh uh, here, bid wear. Uh, but I always like the shirts. But besides that, I mean, you guys are always pushing. It seems like it's a family, uh, family team, right? Yes. Your brother also fights still too. Correct. So both of you guys fight. Is he younger or older than? He's you? the youngest. He's the baby in the He's family. He's the baby. Yes, sir. How, okay, so how old is he? He's twenty years old. Twenty. Okay, twenty. No. Right, so he's <laughs> Did he do more amateur than you know? It's funny, we actually had the same 19 the same. fights. 19 fights, hey, and you guys just said, Fucking 19, man, we're done. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Let's move on already. Let's move on. Okay, so do you see the difference between the amateurs and the pros? Right, right? Oh, yes, big time, right off the back, big time. You know, and the amateurs, I mean, I'm not gonna say like it's bad how it is, it's just a different animal. approach, yeah. a different exact, different animal, right? Right off the back of the amateurs, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad or good. But you got the cor- other corners coming at you quick and fast. Yeah. Seems like if, because you only got short minute a lot of time. You only got like minutes. two minutes, yeah, right? So they, minutes. they, it's points. It's going. They want you to throw the lane. The lane going in your hands, you know. Yeah. So it's a totally different level, you know. So that's why I say, amateurs and pros, it's a different level, big time. Wh- okay, so was it hard for you to adjust to the pros? Actually, no, it wasn't. Do you like? You no, know, I like. I like more. Studying my fi- my fighter as well too, but it only takes me about a round or two just to figure them out. Mm-hmm. Um, but like things are things are changing while as I'm progressing. Yeah, progressing. You know? yeah. What's, so, yeah. What's okay. the biggest difference between the amateur and the pros? The Ama- sh- and the amateurs, what I experience mm. every time I fought in amateurs, mm. it's just hands. Or it kind of felt like I forgot what that one fight. They were throwing like a thousand punches in one oh, round. Oh, that was uh, Soto Caraz versus. Oh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Rooster. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what it kind of felt like. You know, you're they're record, in there just throwing your leg on your hands. I'm like, that's amateurs. That's, those are amateurs. Yes. And the pros. And the pros. Yeah, you're you're trying to figure them out. You're trying to see what, what he's time. doing. Yeah, you got time to. Do, like, we're trying to how to figure them out. Like, I should say but, but game what's plan. One, yes. What's one thing that that in the pros you don't like compared to the amateurs? Um, that you find it tougher to adjust to home. Just time wise, it's just different. Time? It's just yeah, time the amateur is just you're two minutes, and at pros you're it's three minutes. You know, it, so you get more time. Do you, did you, okay? Uh, I, I'm gonna see if this is true. Did you fight more as an amateur than a pro? Like you have a hard time finding opponents as a pro or not? Um, as soon as I got to when I on my amateurs, as soon as I reached, I think it was like twelve or thirteen fights. It started getting it Difficult. did start getting harder to find fighters okay because you know like coaches want to take care of their fighters as well and making sure they got the right opponent yeah, and then you know exactly yes they want the, the younger guy you know ready, but like i mean some uh, even at some <laughs> point too like, oh no i take that like 17 year old and they're like oh shit, let's get him let's get how many fights you guys zero all right let's get him set him up but then that too there was actually sometimes too like we're disappointed man. i got tired of we were driving down there get yeah. nothing Send me up with a higher guy, a bigger dude. You know, to the point I got tired of that. Mm-hmm. And and I hear that a lot in the amateurs, man. That a lot of people end up saying like, I go and fight two divisions up yeah. because you want to fight. Yep. And it's like you could get hurt. Yes, you that. can. You know, people, but that's what that's what that. that's what shows the love and the dedication you have to the sport, though. If kids at that age and amateurs, if they really want it, they're gonna do it. Okay, so Ruben Cuellar says, "Why professional boxing? Money, fame, and girls. Damn, Money, bro. fame, and girls. He put you on the <laughs> this, this isn't rock and roll. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, okay. No, I mean uh, the reason. I mean, I, I love what I love what I'm doing, and uh, I love I love the sport of boxing and what it's done to me. And I do it for like my family. I do it for all my friends. Okay. You know, yeah, money's gonna money's gonna come and go. Yeah. It is it is gonna come and go, but." I'm enjoying the process of it, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I'm gonna keep growing into this, and and see where it takes me. That's all I gotta say. What's one thing the us as boxing fans that never been in a ring and media? What's one thing that we don't know about the side of boxing? Um, as far as anything in the ring, any, anything. I mean, there is, there is. It, it, it's a lot of work. It is. I mean, you gotta take, you gotta know your diet too as well. You gotta make sure you're training. You gotta make sure you're pushing yourself. To the limit, you you don't want to half fa- half fast anything, mm. you know, because once you step in that ring, it's a totally different speed and a level to this. There's levels to this game, you know. It's not something that you want to half fast anything at all. 
and, and how do you take the criticism? Because I, I know we're living in a new era with social media, <laughs> where everybody could just tell you, "Hey, you suck. You're a bomb. You're this and you're that." Everybody is pro. Everybody exactly. has a uh, pro. I'm guilty of it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, but I'm not doing that anymore. But I'm saying, how do you do? You not listen. To I, I don't really affect. I don't, it doesn't affect me at all. Mm. I mean. I don't see them. I mean, I don't want to. I'm not saying pushing names out there, or I don't want to say names. But if they're doing it, or something, if they're not doing it, then it's a different thing. You know, it's a different atmosphere I, that they're, they're honestly, trying to do. In my honest opinion, I think if a, if a boxer starts reaching a certain level, they shouldn't even get on social media. No, exa- I mean it's that just, too. Because sometimes it gets handling. to them. It does get yeah, to them. It's all like it it's in a mind matter, frame. Man. Doesn't matter yeah. whether you 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 they hate you last week. They hate. They love you They're this week. Hate yeah. you just make That's sure true. you get They paid hate both the top weeks. guys. They hate the top you know? guys that yeah. are at the top. It's like That's true. <laughs> like why what's the reason why they yeah, hate exactly. him, you know? Because I was gonna be there. <laughs> Big shout out to Virgil Ortiz Sr. He's on the line. Oh, Virgil. Oh, shout Virgil. out to Virgil. Um Look at me, bro. I have a lot of haters, bro. I don't know why. Now I know because I'm on the top. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, does does a, uh, hey. he does a better job at ignoring them than <laughs> No no I will be honest with you, bro. I I love my haters. They know it. I don't pay attention to them, bro. They be hating on me. I'm like, go ahead, man. Do it. Do it. The reason why, because good or bad, they're still you're still talking about me. Obviously, yeah. you're following me. Exactly. Obviously, you're, you're listening to me. You're following me. Exactly. You know I mean? Yes. You're the one spending your time to come and critique yep. me. Yep. You, you know, know the funny I mean? thing is, is that when you get people like, yeah, you take, you know, uh, Instagram too serious, like, but you look at their profiles and they have more posts than you do. That's right. true. <laughs> 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 so you take it too uh-huh. yeah. so me I just like go with it man I mean I, I, uh, try just pass all that you know pass that yeah, yeah exactly I, I don't like I said I mean social media is a, it's a good tool for people to get to, yeah. to know you but do I live on social media nah man I mean I know people they like that's how they do bro they they, they jump on it and they, they love it you know they, they that's like their go to thing to do don't yeah. let it yeah. suck you in yeah it, use it for what it's what it is yeah you know that's it mm-hmm. cool yeah, it's a yeah. tool. That's it. Mm, that's, a tool. Yeah, that's, a, that's one way to get in contact with everybody, too. The media is where to, like, where it to go. Is, it is it needed. People be fighting me, bro, now. It is needed. But you're like, <laughs> I got to know how to work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finding cousins everywhere, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But big shout-out to uh, Alejandro Jalisco. That's where all my family is from. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Big shout-out to that. Uh, also in Oakland. I mean, I have family in Oakland, so there you go. All right. But anybody else, I, I keep on fighting from other places. I don't know you guys, but all right. <laughs> but I love it that you guys follow me. All right. All um, right. Growing up, who was your favorite fighter, man? Mm-hmm. Uh, I already kind of know the answer. Yeah, it's going to be Arturo Gatti for that one. Yeah, Thunder we, Gatti, that's my Thunder favorite Gatti, all-time bro. fighter. Hey, do you come out with this song, though, at least? When you, uh, oh, no, you have a different song? Entrance. Oh, I was, this one I had is my own my own song. You, you, what you mean? Oh, and oh. I didn't make, make it. You know, oh, sh- shout out to, shout out to, hey, en- shout out to End Up. I don't we make, might have a little, I could probably give you a little, little sampler. Oh, okay. You, you, you Let's guys see if they can, one, they find it. Like, you, one of you guys can find it, yeah. I'll give you a little okay. taste of it. Okay, you, but so you have your own song they made for you. Yes, yeah. from the oh, okay, yeah. okay, from okay. the Hennessy Lounge. Yes, Grupo Group of Firme. Who is it? DJ Tony. Kiki. Kiki. Yeah, from the Hennessy Lounge. From the Hennessy Lounge in the in the city. Yes, sir. East LA. Uh, can I go there or what, bro? Yeah, anybody go out, uh, no, 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 you're a hammer. You're, you're, if, you're, if you're inviting me, bro, uh, I, he's I mean, walking now. He's gonna be there. Yeah, no, 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 can we go there with unlimited drinks, though? <laughs> uh, hey, go for it. Yeah, you can. Actually, can. I like that. I like that. Right. Yes, you can. If you were not doing boxing, I think I already know the answer because you kind of said it too. What would you be doing? If you didn't listen to, because I'm gonna tell you something, and this is what people don't understand, like. Sometimes the power of words are a lot stronger than, than things, you know what I mean? Like we told you already, uh, you know, R.C. Smith, he was a five-footer, bro, and he was in the pro. So sometimes Trump people yeah. don't know when they say something, they could actually have a big power. He didn't listen to it. He didn't listen to it. But what would you be doing if you weren't doing boxing, man? I was to continue on doing what I, what I love doing, baseball. 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 That's the sport I've been love doing. Like, if you guys know Jose Altuve from the Astros, correct? There you go, bro. Damn, Second baseman go. is like 5'6", five, 5'5". Five, wow, five, five. But look, look at that, that guy. Two, bro. That guy's small. He's a monster. He's and a he monster. has heart. He knows yeah. he can do it. And when I kind of, kind of, when he told me that too, I wasn't, luckily I just should have said, look at Jose Altuve, you know? But then again, I wasn't thinking. I forgot about it that. Just, it, just, it just got to me and just stuck right to me. That was it. Yeah, man. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't know what they have. I mean... And, and, I, and sometimes I, I share this with, with my people from the rundown, the people that I have close to me. It's like, 
And I say it about my haters, bro. Sometimes, I, like I say, I love my haters, bro. And when I say I love them, I mean it. I love you guys. You know what I mean? I don't wish you guys ill. I don't wish you guys anything negative. The reason why? Because you guys are the ones pushing me to get to the, to next, the next level. level. Mm -hmm. so there you go. I always tell everybody, um, uh, your, your words encourage me. Your words kind of like empower me to get to the next level. So I always hope that people out there... When they say something negative about a fighter, when they say something negative about a team, when they say something negative about a group of people that are trying to do something positive, mm. they look at themselves internally and say, you know what, am I doing something wrong by trying to like put down this person's dream? And I, that's why, like I said, I appreciate what Ray's doing because what Ray's doing is Ray's pushing a the dream. Yep. He has a vision. Mm -hmm. He's like, I want to make people's dreams. Come he true. wants to make my your dream, come, dream true. come true. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that counts a lot, man. A lot of people don't see that. So I hope, you know. But that you do really good, man. But that's yeah. true. The dream is free. Right. I'm giving it to them. That's free. Free. But now the hustle is sold on separately. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's, it's not part of He's got to put the hustle in and he's got to put, put that work in. Sizzle, bro. No. Nothing happens if you don't, you know, we do you don't, this one, bro. You don't push this <laughs> to the next level. <laughs> exactly. Um, Danny Gascon, shout out to our brothers. Oh, oh all right, all right. <laughs> and Kiki at uh, the world famous Hennessy now. Yeah, shout there out to them, bro. There they are. Hey, I'm going to take... East LA, East LA, baby. Hey, East LA. East LA Bikers, bro. God damn, bro. The uh, Mon the full circle, bro. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the Mongols. <laughs> no, 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 the Mongols, the Mongols. Mongols, yeah, Mongols. Mongols. No, but no, there's an East LA Bikers. <laughs> yeah, no, there's an East LA Bikers. <laughs> I'm going to make it out okay. here. Okay, uh, Cesar Garcia, what up? Oh, what's up, Cesar? What's up, Cesar? How you doing? Caesar. All right, hey, so if I go to the Hennessy Lounge, we're going to have some drinks over there or not, man? <laughs> Danny, let me know. Yes, yes. I, we're cooking up a barbecue as well. Right, let me see. Let me hear. Can I invite all my cousins and uncles? Uh, <laughs> invite the familia. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Okay, I think that's... Uh, oh, here we go. From East Coast, California. Oh, that's pretty good, bro. So you come out to this song? Yes, sir. East. Is that Buffer at the beginning? I don't know. You gonna walk out with him? Carissa. Carissa B. Baby, baby, baby West Coast. Yeah. Baby West Coast. Shout out to them. Shout out to her. She's gonna be my. She's gonna be coming out, walking with me. Okay, so Clarissa's gonna come out with you. Can I come out? Hey, yeah, we feel. Let's set something up. We got you. All right, all right. Huh? Yeah. Carissa Shields going out. Oh no. no. <laughs> No, Clara, no, no. Carissa B, oh, baby, baby West Coast. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. So, oh, the trip, we got you. I got you. Guys. <laughs> Fantasy Lounge, everybody. Oh, they have their own Instagram. Let yes, me they know, do. bro. I'll, I'll promote you right now. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what do you consider your style of boxing, man? I like your song too, though. But what do you consider your style of boxing? Um, to be honest, it's it depends on what on how the, what's what's gonna happen in the situation when mm -hmm. I'm fighting. If you want to bra, I can bra. If you want to, if you want to box, I can box. If you want to do both, we can do both. What do you prefer? Hmm. I prefer boxing. I'll prefer box, boxing? yeah. You know, You're I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boxer. But if, if you want to get down and dirty, let's, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Right. Blood, sweat, and tears. We'll land on the cans. Go. Do, do Ow! Since Arturo Gatti was your favorite boxer, do you remember? You must have been like 10, 11 years old. I watch, I watch all his fights. Were? Yes, all three of those the fights, of course. Like, yes. Wow. Hey, but, he, and he but still fought through it. Yeah, heck yeah. That, yeah. uh, the ref said if that fight was to happen exactly. right now, they would stop that fight. That's they exactly would not let that fight that. go. What do you guys think about that? I think they're being too careful, the refs. I, don't, I think on, a maybe, maybe. Like let him, like just let him keep, let him keep going. No, I don't, no, I don't think, think so. Know. No, no. That was just an amazing hey, what trilogy. Say, like, like, and that, every time I watch that fight too, it, it always makes me like, ah, it gives me the chills. I know, I was, la I was laughing because I couldn't believe it in the first fight. <laughs> you were laughing? Dude, Scotty was about to go. Yeah, he was already, yeah. I got, that's why that guy had heart. He honestly really did. Yeah. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. No, he is, because big time. Because of his heart. You know. Do you feel, or do you feel pressure to perform really good? In your next fight with red boxing, because you know the venue and everything. I mean, I, I know it's gonna be a big and a big mm -hmm. event. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't mean, I don't, I shouldn't feel pressure. I mean, I feel confident in what I'm gonna do and when I when I perform in that ring. You know, like I said, I'm gonna give the the fans, the fight fans, a good fight, and they're gonna expect the thunder out of me that they should feel, that they should feel. Is there anything that he, that he 
is asking for me to do like does he say you know like i i, I want to keep promoting you but this is what i want from you ah you be putting pressure <laughs> on people right <laughs> now. no no not like that no I gotta ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I said, thank, I appreciate Ray for right. having me on this card, though, too. You know, I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Ray was like, oh, I, think you know what? Hey, I want to give a big sh- shout out to Carol McKenna uh, out in uh, Australia. She had surgery last week. Prayers. Hopefully, everything's working out for you, yeah, Carol. Carol you get prayers, you know, prayers, I know you, you hit us up. You said you missed the show last week, but you're here right now. I happen to see you. Mm. We have a young man right here, Alex. You know, you check him out. She she supports you guys all the way from Australia. There guys. you go. I much love to you. I much love Australia. Australia. Thank you. I appreciate I want the to love. Take you guys to Australia, man. Uh, you I'm gonna send you a shirt. I'm gonna send you a shirt. You know? We'll yeah. take a trip down there. Yeah. All right. Let me let me tell you this. Anybody, and I know you say you don't want to mention names, but I'm gonna hit you with the question. No matter what, bro. <laughs> Anybody in the program right now that you say, you know what? I, I see myself getting down with that fool. You know what I mean? I'm, I dare get down. Who? Uh, Everybody says my name, bro. <laughs> I'm a heavyweight, bro. Come on, cut it out. You know what I mean? I like to find any. I like to find anybody. You know, like, who? Who? Like you say, someone you like. Say, yes. you know Doesn't have to be right now. In the future. In the future. In, in the, the future. future. Yeah, in the future. Oh. Ooh. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of big names out there. I mean, down the uh, down the road, uh, I mean that they're still young too. I mean, I like to fight. Um, I think I think I like to come up and wait too. I um, I feel comfortable. I'll, I'll do it. I'll fight um, Javante Tank. I'll fight King Ryan. Um, <laughs> Damn, bro, you went for the hard one, right? <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm not sound like I don't want to sound too confident. But down the road, if I feel like I'm I'm ready for it, down the road, then if I'm willing. With the right training, the right the, the program, and why not? I mean, why I'll not? Dream big, it bro, exactly. You dream big, my man. You only, yeah. only gonna live once. You yeah. know, I might as well take advantage of it. You gotta believe in yourself that you're gonna be the best at what you're yeah, doing. Exactly. Why yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why to why yeah. why even why think even about it? it? And yeah. just you're gonna set yourself on, on a down mm-hmm. low. That's what keeps you motivated. That's no, of course. You wake up the next morning yep. and take a jog and run. Nate Warren says, "Didn't you get nominated for an award?" Ah. Did you get nominated for what? What did, I, what did I get nominated <laughs> what did for? What did you get nominated for? For fucking October 19th. Oh, man. What? Tell him to get it. Nate, <laughs> don't be giving him an award. Come on, man. <laughs> Cut it up. All right. So, I like that. I like Tank Davis. I like King Wright. Man, King Wright over there. Uh, King Wright, he's tall. He's not Yeah, he's tall. Yeah, he's, he's, tall, he's tall and bigger. fast. Yeah, he's an expert. Ex- like ex- Ma- Ryan's going to probably be at 140, 147. Melody's saying that Layla Ali Layla is coming too? Yeah, Layla Ali Oh, coming. shit. Yeah, hey, she, bro, what? She, she, what? She, she confirmed. Yeah, I was going for Alex, but now. <laughs> Alex, I'm going to be there, bro. All right, there we go. I'm going to be there for Layla. Layla Ali is my ex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my dreams. Hey, <laughs> no. All right. At the end, what are we going to remember about Alex Martinez? Alex Thunder Martinez. What are we going to remember, man? You're going to remember me as a... Uh, uh, how do you say it? a lovely, a lovely guy, handsome young man, uh, a big, a big heart. I mean, I show a lot, a lot of love to everyone, uh, even with with the younger, the younger kids, adults too. I see a lot of kids that look up to me as well, right. and now I try to encourage them and what they want to do, and whatever they want to do, right. you know. Because there's, there's there's some kids out there that 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 um, how do you say it? they don't want to do a sport or they because they feel like they're Play video games, video games video as well. Games. You know, you got to go out out. Try new things, you know. Ex- explore. Ask your pops. Oh, I know. My dad started me at four years old, man. Like, <laughs> we huh. We're always outside doing something. Your younger yeah. brother, do you ever feel yourself giving him advice? Like, since you have a little more experience with him, like what not to do, what to do? Uh, I mean, both of us. I mean, that's my little, that's my little brother as little well brother. too. I mean, I, sometimes I, I I can learn from him though too as well. He learns from me. I mean, we're like we're a team. Yeah. I mean, we always help each other out. Cause I'm yeah. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm 45 years old, bro. I have a brother that's, which I call my little brother. And he's 44. <laughs> I still watch out for him no matter what. And it's it's, n- and it's never gonna change. That too. Yeah. I mean, we all we, we, we all watch each other's back. You know, we all watch each other's back. He watches our back. I mean, yeah. we're a family. You yeah. know, that's what family is about. Is taking care of each other. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how it should be. And that's how it should be. The done right way. 
<laughs> this guy, I don't know why people are saying they're Indian name. I'm not there. <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Ruben Quare. My Indian name is I Drink Your Beers. All right. <laughs> All right. Alex, give us your social media, man. I know you guys have a few of them. And oh, also no. give me your shout outs to any no, promotion, of course. Uh, any promo. Um, you, you can find me on uh, Instagram at A Martinez underscore underscore seven. You can also follow our, our main accounts, is our, actually, my, mine and my brother's account. It's run by my parents. It's Martinez Boxing Team, and we got a rated R version. It's Martinez Boxing Team oh, One. Hey. That's my that's my whoa, pops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My pops shows everything right there. So what are you showing? Hey, you are. Hammer, you coming to the show <laughs> next week, bro? Uh, I'll bring you on, dude. What, don't what do that? No, <laughs> no Ray J videos. <laughs> no, no Ray nothing Ray like Ray that. Ray 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 Ray. Ray. I don't think no. no nothing like that. <laughs> All right. So, any, any, <laughs> <laughs> hey, any, um, any uh, people? Uh, yeah, I want to give a huge, uh, big uh, shout out to all my sponsors, my uh, my family right there, uh, my East LA family bikers right there, Chola Loca, Micro Exotics, and uh, 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 Rivas Electric. Uh, who else am I missing? Uh, Gina's Pizzeria, and to all my other previous sponsors, I thank you guys for the love and support that you show me, and my family. I really do appreciate it. And we're just going to continue growing and growing on to this. Okay. Red. Ray, give me some red. <laughs> Ray, give me some red. Give me some red promotions. Uh, uh, red social promotions. media. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can follow us at uh, Red uh, Official Red Red Boxing Money. International. Uh -huh. And we have also a Facebook page. Red Boxing? Uh, yeah, Red Boxing. Oh, or Official Red Boxing. Yeah, no, Red Boxing. Red Boxing, Promotion, anything else? Yeah. And yeah, come out on October 12th. I mean, it's the only place in town that you want to be. Even if there's another L Layla. fight up there. I don't I mean, even want to hear about the other one, bro. Come out, you're going to miss out a lot of people. Bro, we're talking about Snoop Dogg. Layla Ali. Who uh, else told you? People are all over Ray J. <laughs> yeah. Ray J. Ray J. Everyone knows Ray J. Ray J. Ray J. These are stars coming to Pico Rivera. Pico Rivera, yeah, man. Right. We're not getting this. There's guys. no place you don't want to... <laughs> You don't, don't want to miss it. it. Yeah, you it's don't want to miss it. It's a good atmosphere. Yeah. I've been it's going to be a beautiful no, night. Uh, Leila Ali will be there. I mean, guys, Her this is the only place you should be October 12th. We got tickets still available on? The ticket on. Ticket on. General, you can get uh, it. The general admission is uh, $35 <laughs> because the, the floor seat is almost gone. Actually, we had to add more. No. We had to. You know, so get them want, fast. We just had to add more let, chairs. Let, let me ask what, what, what are you having the next show? Wait up, let me just go. What's the next show? For uh, we're thinking of uh, January because because somebody cold. wants Ice Cube on the next one. We can find a way. There's a way. Now, are you know are all those stars are going to be taking pictures with the fans? Yeah, they, they interacting. Have, yeah, they will have an opportunity to do that as okay. well. Okay. They're gonna be on the. Of course, we're gonna make a special lounge for them. Okay. You know, we're gonna That's treat good. them like. Good they to are, meet them. That they're the, that they're main. They're the main ones too. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go. Man. <laughs> Thirty-five right. bucks, man. You can't. You can't. You can't beat that. Mel is all over right now. Mel, Mel is here. Mayweather Senior will be there, and just go to Ticket Tone, dude. Go to Ticket Tone. Right. Or oh, hit me up too. I got, I got tickets too. Oh, hey, we, up, we get Martinez uh, boxing team. We got, we got tickets for you guys too. <laughs> hit him up. Shoot, we're everywhere. Let me send it to the what? To the IE. To the IE. We got y'all. <laughs> get some tickets, man. Uh, go general admission, thirty five dollars, guys. Don't forget. All right, support, support, support. Be there October twelfth. I will be there. Give me hearts if you want me to be there. <laughs> give me heart, oh, dude. Don't give me hearts, bro. You know, what are these thumbs down coming? All right, yeah. all, right. <laughs> be there. all right, all right. Logan Paul and Jake Paul will. Be oh there. yeah, they're gonna be there, bro. Oh, there yeah, we'll be there. Oh, man. And it actually, the actually, one of them's fighting Logan pro Paul's too, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's That's fighting pro. Well, what, do you, what do you think about that? About Logan Paul being on a on a boxing car like that? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have an opportunity to to fight. They have a great trainer. So, you know, I mean, the zone is building his dream. True. Honestly, I think it's a good thing because it's bringing all their followers. And, exactly. And to come yeah. and followers. Check, check it out and look yeah. at it. New Year's, New Year's. Mm -hmm. The fight is retarded, but the, the idea is good. The idea is good. <laughs> it's Lo right, Logan yeah. Paul's fighting, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you guys the hardest part now of the show. What? <laughs> all right, this is the easy part. 
part when we do the interview we chit chat. Okay. But this is the hard part. You guys gotta do some predictions. You guys write some predictions or not? We're gonna do Friday, see. showtime. Midland, Texas. This boy's doing really good, man. Big shout out to Michael Dutchover. Michael, Michael Dutchover Dutch took him. Showtime to Midland, Texas. My, uh, Michael Dutchover versus Thomas Matisse. And say banger. Who do you guys got on that one? Wow. Oh. Thomas Matisse? Yeah, we don't even. <laughs> no? I go Michael Dutchover. I don't what do you go by? Uh, knockout. He's been on the street. I'll go knockout. Michael I'll go Dutchover. knockout too. I'll go knockout. Yeah. Alex, you say okay. knockout too. What do you got, Ray? That's Matisse. <laughs> <laughs> Matisse! Damn! You're going to go Lone Ranger? Are you going to go Matisse? <laughs> no, because, I mean, it's, it's good to have, uh, you know... To An underdog. The, yeah, the underdog. You'll never know when the That's next shot is going to come. That's true. Yeah. The, problem, be ready. the problem here is that Michael took Showtime to Midland, which means Michael's going to put a great show, and he's going to get the knockout. I'm going to go... Third round knockout, Michael Dutch over. That, that's his hometown, right? Yeah, that's his hometown. That, that's what Top Rank likes to do. They like to fight their fighters in their the hometown, hometown. And well, from there, no, they no, spread them out. That's, that's I, know, I know that's not Top Rank. No, that's Thompson. What I'm saying, yeah. that's Thompson. Yeah. But I'm saying that's what Top Rank is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out to Martinez Boxing out there in Houston, Texas right there. Whoa, you guys there got you out go. there, too? <laughs> hey, bro, you said from Miss LA to the IE. You didn't say from Miss LA to Texas, bro. That's Te- Texas. Texas is producing some champions. Oh, yeah. yeah they, they are. They are. Big time. Big, uh, Virgil Ortiz. I mean, there's a lot of cats. Lot. You know what I mean? Out there. Barrios. And Barrios. Like Spence. Spence. I mean, what's They're expanding. Up? They're growing. Hey, They're hey, growing. Hey, can we go to Texas? Martinez boxing holds us over there. Can we go to Texas? No. Hey, you guys are like great. You guys want to take me everywhere. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Sunday, man. There's nothing on Saturday, but Ooh. Sunday. Here we go. I From Bakersfield, PBC on Fox. Peter Quillen versus Alfredo Angulo. Oh. Well, I'm gonna be at church on Sunday, so. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Peter Quillen, man. Peter Quillen. Yeah, Alex. I'll probably go Peter as well. Uh, I'll take what they're what they're saying. Peter Quillen. <laughs> the distance. Here we go, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go a little opposite to you guys. I think PBC did a little movida because it was supposed to be Alfredo Angulo versus who is that Chavez Jr. Mm. And I don't know why they did this. So I'm going to say Angulo has a little rabia in him and he's going to go Come back for the streak. The streak. <laughs> so Alfredo Angulo, I'm going to go with Alfredo Angulo. I'm going to ride with him this you time. Alfredo, I'm going to ride with him, bro. I'm going to ride with him. <laughs> Alfredo Angulo, I got you, man. Come on, could, let's if, do this. If, if you could do something like you did against Lara. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. They'll I got it. Though. Make it happen. All right, well, let's see. <laughs> I got him. Sunday again from Mexicali, your hometown, bro. Golden Boy on Facebook. Joseph Jojo Diaz oh. versus Jesus Cuadro. Jojo Diaz decision. I got Jojo Diaz as well. Jojo Diaz. Much love to that guy. I support that guy. Much love to him and his, and his coach. His team, Los Gallos, Los Gallos Boxing Academy. Really good. Nice guy. Uh, always learning from him, too, as well. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Diaz out there. I appreciate the love and support that he shows my family as well. You you go all the way to India? I, I go, we go down there. We did that and, and the amateurs background yeah. though too. But it actually come down to um, Rialto, Los Gallos yeah. Boxing Academy. Yeah. We have to get some sparring down That's there. Yes, Jordan. Well, let yes. me know when you guys do that, man. I, I'm right <laughs> around the corner. I'm in Chino, man. I'll go with you guys. I'll go, I'll go. All right, guys. Uh, anything else we have left? I mean... That's it. No That's more fights? It. Mm-hmm. No more fights, guys. It was a, it's a slow weekend. We got JoJo. Uh... Don't forget, October 12th at Pico de Vesperos Arena. We're going to have lots of evenly matched fights. Lots of them. We're going to get to see Alex Thunder Martinez there. He's going to get it on. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stars. Snoop Dogg, uh, Ray J. Uh, and more. We're going to have uh, Layla, Layla Lee. We're going to have who? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather Paul. Sr., Logan Paul. Uh, Jake Paul. You're going to have Boxing Ruckus. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't forget, get your ticket, tickets at Ticket On. All right? Make sure you... Or Ticket On. What is it? Ticket On. All right? Ticket On. Ticket On. Ticket On. All right? And uh, don't forget, Hennessy Lounge. Where is it at? East LA. East LA. Show up. Roll up. We're going to be there. We're going to go celebrate after party for Alex. Let's go. We're getting it. All right. We're getting it. Anything else we have left? That's it. Just See you guys all next week. We're going to break down uh, Spence, Spence and Porter, Porter right, Spence, guys. Spence, We're Porter. breaking down the fight Woo! next week. So stay tuned. See you all next week. Take us out, Tony. <laughs> <laughs>